hey guys welcome back so in this video i will talk about a method called flat map okay i will talk about the method called flat map and we will try to understand how this flat map will help us so first press on control click on flat flat map so the flat map if you look at the return type of the flat map is a stream of object it's a stream of object and it takes function and functions extends a stream right so basically it's a mapper like how do you want to map right probably you will get some doubt here but once i will show you through example trust me your doubt will get clear but try to understand this text function and extends a stream and inter type is the stream of object okay now come back to the example if you look at you have two list there is a two list which i have created and then i am creating a, another list now focus on this third list what is the input to the third list the input to the third list is the list of integer right the input of third list third list itself is a list of integer so when i say list dot add right when i say list dot add i need to add a data of type list of integer guys so whatever the two list i have created here i am added to the third list right now if i will print the third list right if i will print the third list how it will look like let me run that because list has another list so you can see it here you have this is one list and this is your second list clear one list and second list because list has a another list now i need to map this as a flat list i want to merge both the list into a single list right yes java 8 has that facility where on this list the third list you can call list dot stream everything is will, will be taken care by the stream when you call a stream dot it has a method called flat map look at here flat map so this flat map what it takes is it takes a, a stream as an input right so now when you say flat map and when you are running the stream so you know that this will run against your list it will run like a for for loop so tell me one thing your list has what kind of data your list has list of integer kind of data right your list has list of integer kind of data and very well you know that on this every list i can call a stream list dot a stream right i can call list stream uh, a stream on every list we are clear so can i write here one by one you get the list and one by one you call a stream okay clear so this flat map you know what it will do one by one it will call your list of a stream and it will merge to a single one it will merge to a single one that is the reason if you look at let me just comment this this i have done for your understanding purpose if you the same thing i have did it here okay uh, return type of this flat uh, flat map it will be the string of object guys look at here it's a a stream of object right now since it is the stream of object you know that we we know that there is a method called collect method because see if i will print into system output print ln object reference will get get printed because this is the stream object so object reference will get printed so i need to convert to the list so i can use collect and then i can use collectors dot to list so what will happen this guy will uh, will get converted something i did mistake guys i think oh i did collections instead of collectors i did something else yeah this is the uh, this is the collectors yeah it is from a stream package dot to list okay so what happens now is the data got converted to the new list so i can write here new list sorry why i am writing like this yeah new list when i will place mouse over here and create on 
list of object right so now this is list of object so instead of list of object i can write list of a string also that is fine nothing will happen okay let it be list of object it is complaining now the same thing whatever whatever i did here okay i did inside the print ln because i wanted to print that now you can look at the difference in the output guys and you will be able to understand so two times i cannot call the string i will tell you why later not now here focus on what i am trying to explain you yeah right so this will this will give me flat map and then i am collecting the data as a list so let's run that so look at the output difference your first list which was a list within a list okay so this was your first list object this is the second list object it got merged to a single one and this is the single list so flat map basically what it does is it merges a uh, multiple list into a single list right that's how it works guys clear with the flat map that's how it will help you now any any object you have any object you have and you want to convert you can do like this let's say you have another data where okay let me anyways we have another example also let me first cover and then i will do whatever i want to do i want to show some other example also so look at here that's how we create a string of 2d array right this we know that this am and even though you don't know you please watch my array video or try to google it okay you will come to know that how to create 2d array now i need to convert this to the stream once i will convert this to the stream i can make use of how this i i can make use of the stream methods so if you look at here the same thing a stream dot off so a stream dot off it's a static method of it can take object as an input okay i'm same whatever i have here if you look at here i'm supplying the new a string of w object and i'm passing that since it is a w so this is one row second row third row and these are the column right these are the column 2d so a apple b banana o orange right similarly there is a another a stream of a string array a string array a stream of a string array i'm doing that a stream dot off new string 2d right 2d array p for papaya c for coconut o for orange so you have two stream of type a string array right now on this if you focus here data 3 so when i say a stream dot off and when i say data comma data 2 so what will happen both the data it will get combined right both the data will get combined combined and what is the return type guys let me delete that generally i don't remember the return type just press mouse over here and click on create local return type is the a stream of a string a stream of a stream of uh, a string array right a stream of a stream of a string array because basically this is the data you are doing that right a stream dot off you are storing this data so since you are storing this data okay your output of a stream off is nothing but a stream and what data you are storing you are storing this data right so this will go as a angle bracket to this you can see that this will go as a angle bracket to the stream so you got the stream now right the stream which has both first stream and second data and data two now how do you how do you run a for each loop uh, actually so to run a for for each loop if 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 you have to run a for each loop on this you know how this works data dot for each so when you will run the for each loop what you will get you will get x and for each loop by the way it takes only consumer so it will process your record okay x 
so one by one your a stream of a string array will get assigned to the x then arrow after that i can write like this okay i can write a curly braces also it's up to me or if i don't want to write curly braces i will not write also if there is only one line if there is only one line i i will not write so you write a curly braces and then you x so this is this is what this is again a i can call for each on that because when i am running one by one every object every x is getting a stream of a string array every x every x it is getting okay so on the x i can call x so x will get assigned this and then i'm going to process this right so basically this data i'm going to process so again i can do x dot for each because this is also a, a stream and here i will write y so y will get what now now y will get a data y will get this data now right y i can write one curly braces syso and then i can write y of 0 which is nothing but first record plus a space plus y of 1 okay you can see that that's how you are processing it because your first stream returns the second streams and then again you need to run a for each loop right that's how you can process it that's all that's what i have written here also so i explained it clear now and why why i am running two time for each loop because one for each loop i am running against the data 3 which is combinations of two stream right so once oh, that is this for each for this data 3 now inside also inside also data 3 we are storing a stream of a string array right so this is also a stream guys right so x will get a stream again then again you have to run one more for each loop for this internal data you have to run one more for this loop for internal data then you store into a variable y and then print it that's how it is that's where i have wrote to explain you so this when you run this you know what happens is you are running two times for each loop all record when you say y0 y1 so one by one this record will come here so this is y0 and this is the y1 again this is y0 y1 y0 y i y1 that's how it works in case of a stream again y0 y1 okay it will get mapped now focus here this data 4 okay i created uh, other data 4 which return type is a stream of A stream of a stream of a, st a string array, okay, and I'm storing data three, which is here. Now on this data four, I'm calling a flat map. So the flat map, I wanted to merge both, and I don't want to run two times for each loop. So I want to merge into a single piece, right? So when I will call a flat map, this x, which is nothing but this a stream. and i'm mapping i'm just mapping the stream with another stream that's it so in the flat map what is the input to the flat map guys press control click on flat map focus here guys it should be always of type a stream because your function extends a stream so it it should be of type a stream okay so i'm just mapping it I, i'm not doing any calculations here guys by the way i'm just doing that whatever a stream comes same i want like whatever this comes same i want nothing else i want to do then dot collect okay i want to collect all the stream and then you know that collectors i have covered into very details dot to list so everything will get converted to the list so whatever you are to stream you have this will get converted to a list right by using collectors dot to list and if you look at the return type is the list of string so if you write a final data press control click on create local variable it's a list of a string array guys you can see that 
so this both got merged to the single one then there is a final data now on this final data since it is a list i can call a for each loop and now when i will call a for each loop this x will get data from this string array one by one okay and since it is the string array definitely will have this records right so again x0 x1 x0 x1 x0 x1 right click run as java applications you can see that what is the difference so this i will tell you why this is but look at here the first one when i printed a apple b banana o orange b papaya c coconut o orange right now let me do one thing let me comment that because i cannot work on the same stream two times it will give you a stream is already closed how to handle that that also i will tell you now if i'll run the second one you can see that the same output is coming a apple b banana o orange right you can you can see that we are getting the same output by mapping to the flat map but when it was not mapped to the flat map you have to write two times for each loop got it but here you don't have to because you have mapped to the flat map so that's how the flat map will help you to map two list of object two stream of object into a single one example 3 we'll try to understand so okay so this by mistake this is not for flat map guys this is for for each loop uh, definitely i will cover into uh, into a separate video but here one thing i will explain you okay one thing i will explain you and i know that why i have kept this example here this example yeah three and four why i have kept here i will tell you if you remember uh, when i was talking about this example number two and when i ran when i ran this the problem what i got i got my first stream got processed in second i was getting that this problem like illegal state exceptions the stream has already been operated upon or closed so it is saying that boss whatever stream you are working on this is this is already processed so you cannot process again because guys this data 3 is nothing but a stream so this stream was already processed again i'm trying to process the same stream by using some different mechanism this will not allow you java it will not allow you you cannot process the stream two times right because once it get processed it gets processed then how do you handle that let's say you have a requirement where you want to process this stream again and again so how to do that that's what i have covered in example 3 so look at here this is your a stream of a string right you can write like this this i have told you a stream dot off and a string this will give you a stream of a string now i'm running a for each loop and then again i'm running a for each loop will this work let's see that let's run that this will give you exception saying that after processing first so so look at here after processing this line number 12 okay when it went ahead and it went, when it was trying to process line number 14 it failed illegal state a stream has already been operated upon or closed right then how do you handle that to handle that it is very simple now you remember one thing i told you long back something called supplier guys okay go to the supplier press control click on supplier now you will understand each and every functional interface which i spoke in very details when I have started with Java at video and I told you please try to understand everything this we are going to use now you can see that supplier will save you okay the supplier whatever input it will take it will give you same as an output whatever input it takes it will give you one copy of it same as an output one copy of it okay so look at in example 3 so whatever when you uh, so actually basically you are writing a supplier now supplier input is the stream of a string the supplier input is the stream of a string and you know that supplier whatever it takes it will give you the same so what is the supplier input it is the stream of a string guys so you know that supplier will not take anything again look at the focus here it only has a get method so when you create a supplier object whatever object you supply here the get will return the same object nothing else get will return one copy of same object so you write a supplier since it will not take any argument which means you have to write blank parenthesis 
then arrow and then a stream of this why a stream of this why i have written this what is the stream of a stream dot of return type it is this a stream of a string and this guy also expect same thing so i can write like this right this is my implementations of get method now since it is wrapped under the supplier supplier has a get method guys you can do like this supplier dot get okay it will give you one copy of uh, a stream object and then you can process the for each then again you can do get and you can process the for each so i will comment this because this is giving exception now these two will get executed because it is wrapped under supplier and you will not see the problem guys that's how you can handle that see that both is getting processed a b c d okay then again a b c d so both for each got processed when you have wrapped through when you uh, when actually you are wrapped your stream in the supplier because supplier whatever it takes it will give you the same because it has only get method right similarly in the example number four you have one list you are calling that list dot stream so of course the return type is going to be a stream of integer okay because it has integer type of data uh, you are calling that two times for each loop it will throw the exceptions of course because you cannot process the same stream two times it will tell you illegal state exceptions a stream has already been operated upon or closed okay example 4 click on java line number this guy is giving you the exceptions then how to overcome comment this comment this i have created another list and then i have created a supplier so when i created the supplier is supplier you know that whatever input you will supply to uh, whatever input you will supply to the supplier it will give you the same so i am supplying a stream of integer and since the, it has only get method it will not take anything so the same object whatever i have supplied i am mapping to this is the implementations of get method the list to whatever list to i have and then dot stream so basically list to dot stream so when you say list to dot a stream what is the output of this let's do the, uh, the so if you focus here what is the output of this guys i have told you a number of times but still i will explain you it is of a stream of integer guys okay okay so it, either you like right like this this stream here or you write list two dot stream both are fine so now this is wrapped under supplier so supplier has a method called get method it will give you one copy of your stream of integer object then you process for each and again you process for each that exceptions will not come guys right uh oh so again oh uh, why this exception came am i doing something wrong stream is already been operated upon or closed okay okay got it so i cannot i cannot create a stream outside i have to i have to write a function to it and see here it is getting processed right so 2011 line number 21 in my eclipse 2011 28 54 and 51 one sort one for each loop got executed then 20 11 28 54 51 another for each got executed right so you don't write outside but because again it will consider as the same stream so better you write as a function so basically what happens you know when when you write like this every time when you call a get method uh, from this supplier it will take one copy of the object and it will process it again it will take one copy of object and it will process it with this, I'll close the video. In next video, I'll talk about some more concepts of a stream. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this.